If someone's never read any of your work before, how are your different books similar and different? Um, they're very different in uh, in theme um, and style, but the, the voice is, is the same. Um, so the program is kind of a, a science fiction dystopian, um, and then Hotel Ruby that is sort of a, a horror romance. And, and so for me, so that I don't get bored with writing it, I love to change it up. I love to try something new, um, and I kind of find a new passion each time. So I think for me, it keeps my interest and it keeps the story fresh if I'm, if I'm always kind of switching up the themes. You know, I think a lot about, you know, the kind of reader I am, and I was a reluctant reader reader and um, I want to write stories that I would have read and that I still would read. Are there any characters in your books that you totally relate to or are you kind of, that's you in the book? Uh, no, I wouldn't say that because I think for me I wasn't a risk taker and you know the, the characters in my books like they have to fight through some really tough the tough experiences and uh, and I think maybe emotionally I can relate to them but you know luckily I, I haven't had to you know live through an epidemic and, and some of the things um, but but I think there's an emotional truth with all my characters that you know, resonates with me but uh, but yeah no they're they're probably better <laughs> than me I think it's kind of like the most idealized version um, and flawed as well but I think it comes from me, but, but they're their own person. Whenever you do have a new story in your head, does it usually come from inspiration from somewhere? Or some people say they see a picture, or some people it just, you know, they think of the characters. How does it work for you? It's a little bit different each time. Um, a couple of the stories uh, that I've written were from my own experiences. You said Hotel Ruby is a horror romance, yeah. and it comes from your own experience at a hotel. Like, was it similar how you were feeling in the hotel as it is in the book? Um, yeah, there's actually one scene that was kind of taken from an actual moment. Um, but yeah, we were staying at this hotel in uh, San Francisco and I got to, you know, everyone had their floor and for some reason I was on a different floor than everyone else. And when I got to my, uh, my floor, uh, there was moving boxes, but there were no people. There was no people anywhere. And I get into my room and it's old fashioned. Like it was like from the 20s it looked like and it had, uh, you know, like fringe and, and all this stuff. And so I, I call the other author and I was like, what does your room look like? And she sent me a picture and her room was like a totally normal modern hotel room. And I was like, you have to come down here and check this out. And, and she walked in and she's like, oh yeah, this is haunted. <laughs> so, uh, so it kind of became the joke that like I was on the haunted floor. And so uh, that was what kind of sparked the idea for that, which Hotel Ruby is kind of like uh, the YA Hotel California. If somebody is wanting to be a writer, they're working on their writing or they're stuck, what suggestions do you have? Um, I think more than anything is to finish a project. I know for me I started out um, writing short stories and um, I just continued to write and it wasn't until I was older that I actually wrote a novel and it was kind of a surprise um, and I continue to write and you know the first five books didn't sell and and I think it's important that you actually finish a story because you kind of you write a book and rewriting you know that's when the the real plot the real characterization kind of come through um, so I think it's important to, to finish a project I think it's important to try a bunch of different kinds of projects um, and then probably the most important important is, is get someone to read it that will give you honest advice if you can take it because sometimes honest advice hurts but uh, yeah get, get get a critique partner and then once you do do that then how do you get it out there for the whole world um, I actually learned this after I wrote my book but uh, you uh, you would write a query letter and it's like a, a quick letter that you send out to literary agents who then uh, connect you with editors and at the time I remember someone had had mentioned that I'd never heard of a query letter before and they said literary agents and I'm like is that like a real estate agent I don't understand and they're like well kind of Anyway, um, so yeah, there's you know there's a business side, and, and I think you know when you're writing, it's like so much passion that you kind of forget there's a business side of it. So it's important to do your research and kind of find your favorite authors and see who represents them, and maybe that's who you target in your letters.